Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I want to show you how to get the new OP gun in the game. The Street Sweeper shotgun. There's a couple tricks. It's not just uh, doing what it says. There's a couple tricks into getting it. If your progress is resetting, I'll show you how to fix that. I'm also going to show you some gameplay at the very end, but I'm just going to jump in and show you exactly how to get it, okay? So, here is the Street Sweeper. Now, to get the Street Sweeper, real quick, you have to go into 15 different matches using a shotgun, get three kills without dying. So one of these two, you go in, you get three kills, and that's it. Uh, in a row without dying, nothing else to do in the game. Uh, you can't do it twice in the game, nothing like that. You does half times don't matter if it goes into half time in between a domination match or whatever. If you've already done it the first half, you won't get it again the second half. It's in a complete full game, three kills in a row. You get the street sweeper. Now, what I usually do is you, you're gonna have a lot of people running around doing the uh, exploiting the whole holding tear gas. If you don't know about that. If you pick uh, tear gas, grenade, Molotov. Flash bang, well not tear gas, but a stun grenade, um, stuff like that. You can hold it in your left hand while running around with the shotgun in your right and you won't have any recoil on your gun. A lot of people are doing it, just a little exploit they need to fix. But anyway, what I usually do is I usually go out and get a kill. Um, if you're aggressive, push their base, just start unloading. Get distance on your gun, get whatever you can to extend range and play on hardcore. If it just barely touches the enemy, it will kill them. Um, what I do is play 24 7 Nuke Town. If you are a little bit conservative, uh, sit on the steps, shoot people as they come into the door. You can usually see their shadow approaching the door before they enter. Do not, here's the trick, guys that they don't tell you. Do not leave the game. Do not leave the game once you get the three. That's the trick. Uh, in Modern Warfare, Call of Duty, you could leave. On any of the challenges, you could get your kills. You could leave mid-match. It would record them because you're already taking a penalty to match, but not getting match bonus, and you're taking a penalty by losing that game. So, you have to give up that to leave to get your, uh, you know, to keep your experience. This goes against you. This goes against you. Um, uh, me and a friend of mine, we got up to 15. It was counting. We were leaving games early. We were leaving some games early. We got up to 15. It comes up on the screen. It said you unlocked the street sweeper, uh, everything. When we went to uh, play the next game and pick the Street Sweeper, it was locked. My screen turns black. I'll show you exactly what it will look like in here in just a minute. And what it does is it actually tallies up all the games that you quit early and takes them away from you. So it dropped me down to 10 out of 15, and it dropped my friend down to 8 out of 15. Um I'll show you exactly how it looks. Now, if you're trying to level up your Street Sweeper, I'll show you that as well. We're going to go through this, and I want to show you some uh, footage. So, when you pick Street Sweeper, what I usually do, pick Tactical Mask, because these guys that are running around with shotguns, and they're carrying um, the stun grenades, flash grenades, things like that. This will protect you from those. So whenever you kill somebody, well, not the grenades so much, but whenever you kill somebody, the flash grenades won't won't bother you. So make sure you get tactical, because right here it says max, uh, maximize resistance to flashbang and stun grenade, immune to gas. Okay. Now on the next one, I usually pick tracker so I can see footsteps of enemies whether it's smoke or whatever, because a lot of people carry smoke grenades. So you can see their footprints glowing through the smoke. You can see where enemies are going. And then on perk three, you want ninja. You do not want people hearing you run up on them. This is, this is a great, these perks are great for using the shotguns. Okay. 
because you can run up on people they can't see you can track them and whatever they're carrying uh, won't affect you okay uh, doesn't really matter with these uh, these are just some of the stuff I run with if you're playing on hardcore which I usually do I usually don't go stem you can go flash or whatever um, I like using flash because stun they can still see they can still shoot you flash it blinds them whichever one you want to use you can use smoke if you want to that way you can kind of sneak up on them okay now for the street sweeper this is what you want so um, you do not want any kind of optics nothing aiming down sights so for the muzzle duck bill right off the bat duck bill none of these none of these are going to help you it's aim down sight spread uh, mu muzzle flash aim down sight muzzle flash. you don't need any of that duck bill water putt pellet spread all right now the barrel if you're playing uh team deathmatch you want this effective damage range okay you want that the plus 30 effective damage range this is what you want if you're playing team deathmatch okay like hardcore because it doesn't matter the damage this gun has damage to kill people on hardcore already doesn't matter how really how far away they are if your spread hits them it's going to kill them okay now if you're playing war zone you want this one you want the plus 72 damage this is what you want on war zone this is i think this is the only thing that you change if you're going from team deathmatch to war zone so this is the one you want on war zone this is the one you want on uh hardcore team deathmatch that's where you want to level this gun up at all right so let's go ahead and pick it see all right now body you want the 35 percent um hip fire accuracy because down here you don't need reveal distance you don't need that it's worthless and it's only 30 percent hip fire accuracy right there plus you're getting a negative 10 on sprint to fire time okay so you want this one it's 35 with only a negative eight percent aim down sight time which we're not going to be aiming down sights anyway so that con has nothing to do with us all right magazine you want to go to 18 you will reload very slow but you have 18 shots okay um if you plan your shots i mean some of your shots one shot can take out multiple people so if you kill 18 or more people um good for you you didn't need to reload but reload is going to be very slow so but i would still pick this like i said everything like this is in war zone as well handle you don't need it because see it's all aim down sight uh flinch resistant you don't need any of that you're gonna go to stock and i know some people want this sprint the fire time you don't want that you're gonna want this marathon because you got the sprint the fire time here as well this is 40 but you got 25 here plus aim walk and movement speed shooting move speed sprinting move speed this is what you want the marathon now the hip fire is negative 20 but we're making we're making up for that with the laser okay so that was negative 20 so this is 35 so we're still plus 15 hip fire you see what i'm saying um so that this is what you want this is what you want for team death match and if you're going to play war zone the only thing you're going to switch out is the barrel you're going to go down to the task force you're going to put task force on if you're playing um war zone okay so that's going to be it i want to show you some gameplay like i said guys do not leave early if you if your tracking is resetting if it's going back if you, if it's not letting you up you know unlock the gun it's because you're leaving games early um even when i stayed in the game and i hit 15 the second time it would not let me switch uh, over to the street sweeper during the game. It let me switch any other guns, but I could not switch over to the street sweeper because you have to finish the game. It goes through, it sees if you really did finish the game. If you skip through any other games, it has to process all of that. And once it processes all that and it sees that you did complete 15 games where you killed three people in a row with a shotgun without dying, then and only then will you be able to 
pick this gun and use it. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you some um, footage real quick of what happened to me. You can see if it happened to you or if somebody else is having this problem, you can tell them. But guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If it did, please share it. Please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I got one more. 14 out of 15. I hope it gives it to you. Yeah, it's a little buggy. So it knocked you back down? 15, 15 out of 15 and knocked you down to 9? And now no, you're at 10? No, it knocked me down to... Yeah, now I'm at 10. But now we're going to... Well, let's stay through the games and uh, and see what happens. Hey, if it gives it to me at 15, if it, not, it'll it be, be down to 14. Yeah, it might be that... You know what? Hopefully it don't do you the same way. I think when you were right around 9 out of 15... I think that's when we started leaving matches once we got yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then once that's, you that's got, it's gonna yeah, and it counted, but once you got to 15, you left. I bet if you would have stayed that 15 out of 15, if you would have stayed that last game, nah. I bet it would have, I bet it would have gave it to you. But since you quit, it was like, okay, he quit. How many other ones did he quit as well? You and, know what I'm saying? And you know what? When I got that uh, that one just a while ago, and I come back into the lobby, it showed it had a green dot on weapons, and then it went away. What? what? There ain't nobody here. Alpha locked out. Where the fuck are they? At? Oh, they're all at eight. I should got it. Taking Charlie. I just got my three. Right. I, I I got my street three sweeper. Too. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead That's and what well, it shows locked. Okay, I'm just going to finish. Yep, XA. Yep. That's what it done to Taking me. Alpha. Damn, he just got put in the right place. Everybody else is looking the wrong way. Oh no, not you! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I stayed the whole time. You think it'll reset? Oh, good God. It's doing something. My screen's black for a long time. It's the... Oh. It kicked me out of the party. It didn't show me nothing. Eight out of yeah, 15, not, dude. Eight out of 15. Rah, come on. Yeah, bullshit. Wow. All right, 14 out of 15. We're gonna try this again. Not gonna quit. Not gonna quit the game. No effect. Copy that. Oh, wow. It told me I unlocked it, man. It told me I unlocked it for the second time. It did it the first time. Wow, this is all no. There you go. There you go. Then I get shot in the back. They knew where you were then. You know, the whole team knew where you were by that point. Huh. Dude, so it doesn't but come up as rewards. It But to restart your game and see how far it sets you back. I went all the way through the end. Let me back out of the lobby. Ring party. No, I got it. I got it. I'm going to go ahead go and equip it so they cannot take it from me. I'm going to equip. So during the game, it still showed as locked, which I was afraid of. Mm -hmm. It did that last time. But the very end, it took me to the scoreboard. Remember the last time it didn't. It went black and it uh. sh shot me out because we left games. Um, I have it now. 